Hi guys, this is Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm here to do another review. Um, I know I, I probably should have waited for more response to my first review video, but I liked doing it so much that I just, I think I'm going to do them from now on, um, on my physical books. I think my ebooks, you don't really have anything physical to show, and I would get bored with that really easily, I would get bored. So I think... Um, I'm just going to do regular written reviews on ebooks, but on physical books, I'll do both a written review and uh, a video review. So, a few minutes ago, maybe like, th maybe not, 30 minutes ago at least, I finished Survive by Alex Morrell. And it was really quick because last night, maybe at like 6 or 7, I did my video review on Swoon. And I said, as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to start this book. And I did, and I finished it, and now I'm doing a review of it. <laughs> I think that's probably the quickest I've ever read a, 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 as big a book like this. It's not big, but it's not teeny teeny either. It's it's over 250 pages. But I really, really enjoyed this. As I said, when I finished, um, when I finished The Raft by... S.A. Bodine, I think it was. That is a plane crash book. And when I finished that, I was like, oh my god, I want to read more plane crash books. Not because be not because I like plane crashes, but because I like the suspense of the plane crashing and having the char having characters survive and have to survive after the plane crash. I mean, because it's good enough that they actually survive. Now they have to survive more in the wilderness by themselves until someone finds them. So, that's what Survive was. Um, the main character, Jane, her father committed suicide five years ago, and she's been struggling with it, and I think one time her mom found her trying to commit suicide herself, so her mom stopped her, and she was taken to a hospital, like, you know, one of those group homes, to be on suicide watch. And... Jane decides to make a plan. She doesn't want to live anymore. So she decides she's going to be good and she's going to earn up enough points to go visit. Because the group, if you do good things, you get points. Uh, and if you get enough points, you can leave and, and visit your family for a little bit at a time. So she gets up enough points to go visit her family for a week over Christmas. But she plans on just getting on the plane and taking a handful of pills and dying before she gets home. That's what, that's what her plan is. Um, but when she goes into the bathroom on the plane, right before she f swallows the pills, the plane crashes. And then she everything blacks out because the plane cl crashes. And when she wakes up, she's alone by herself. And she doesn't know where she is at first because she smacked her head. So she realizes that she's in the plane bathroom and she realizes that she crashed. So she comes out of the bathroom and she's looking all around and all of a sudden... And she starts screaming because, you know, she's kind of crazy and... She doesn't know what else to do, so she starts screaming, and when she finally quiets herself down, she hears that someone's yelling back. And so she walks all around looking for where the, um, the voice is coming from, and she looks up, and she realizes that Paul, the boy that had, was sitting next to her on the plane, has survived the crash, al crash also, and that he is um, in his seat still, jammed in a tree, but he can't get out because the seatbelt's jammed. So she gets... Um, him out, and they and they get away from the plane, and they have to survive in the wilderness alone. And that's all I'm going to tell you without spoilers. Um, the book was really good. Like I said, I like the suspense of seeing how they're going to survive, if they're going to have food, if they're going to have water, if both of them are going to make it out alive, which actually is kind of scary because on the synopsis on the book, at the very end of the synopsis, it says, but the wilderness is treacherous, and only one of them will make it out alive. And I was like, oh, come on, because I knew there was going to be a love interest, because it's just the two of them out there in the wilderness by themselves. There's obviously going to be a romance. So I, so when I read that only one of them was going to make it out alive, I was like, oh, really? Come why do you do this to me? But I just had to deal with it. Um, Jane is a good character. She deals with a little bit of guilt in the beginning, because obviously um, she was trying to kill herself before the plane went down, and now she's guilty because she's alive and everybody else that obviously wanted to be alive is dead. And she feels the guilt, and I mean, I would feel guilty too, but I wouldn't be in her situation ever. Um, but thankfully, she has, um, 
Paul there, and he helps her through it, and they go off to try to survive. Um, the romance is an instant, which I liked about the book a lot. Um, when they first meet, actually, Jane dislikes Paul a lot. She thinks he's annoying, and he's snarky, and he's just, just sarcastic, and she doesn't like it at all. But as the book goes on, they grow on each other, and it's so sweet. I loved it. So, as you can imagine, the ending was not fun for me. Because it says, you know, only one gets out alive. And that's not a spoiler, because it says it on the back. Um, hmm. What else can I say? The author did a great job of of keeping me turning pages, because I finished it in less than 24 hours. I finished a 250-page book in less than 24 hours, which is pretty good for me, because usually I'm a slow reader. Um, I think that is it that I'm going to say about this book. Um, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars for things I've said before that. For the I, I give it a 5 out of 5 stars because I love that the love wasn't snap. There we go. First, love at first sight. Um, I also liked that there was a little bit of... You weren't really sure what was going to happen because she wanted to commit suicide. And you knew that the plane was going to crash. But you weren't sure if she was going to like go through with it farther into the book or you don't know you don't know what was gonna happen so I like that suspense a lot so yep that was my review um before I sign off I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna start reading right now uh, it's gonna maybe it's might be the same thing like I'm, I I show you tonight I start it stay up late reading and then finish it late tomorrow and do another review who knows um the books actual this book that I'm about to show you is actually smaller than that one so I might Depending on how much I like it, I like that book so much. That's why I read it quickly, depending on... So yeah, depending on how much I like this book, it will be. But I'm going to read The Statist the Statistical Probability of Love vs. Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. And I know, right? I just said I love this. The love wasn't at first sight, but now I'm reading a book that's at first sight. But this book has been on my shelf for ages since I won it, and it's a 2012 debut, all, as well as Survive was. So this will go to the debut author challenge, and I'm going to read it because it won my What's Up Next post um, two weeks in a row. So I'm going to read it and review it, and then people will get off my back. <laughs> Thanks for watching this review. If you missed my review of Swoon last night, check it out. I just, well, actually, it went up this morning. Check it out, and this will go up. When you're seeing this video, the review of Swoon, Swoon will have already been up for a day. So, bye guys. Thank you for watching.